Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics, and in this video we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of this thing here. This is a two and a half gallon fish tank. We're going to look at whether or not it is worth actually buying, so stay tuned. So we recently did a video on stocking ideas for a two and a half gallon fish tank. I will put that in the description below as well as in the upper right hand corner. We got a lot of comments as to whether or not a two and a half gallon fish tank is actually appropriate for fish and whether or not there's really an advantage to keeping such a small tank. So we wanted to address that in this video. So first, some basics. We are dealing with this. This is a two and a half gallon fish tank. It is roughly right around 12 and a quarter, 12 and three eighths inches long. It's about six or six and a quarter inches wide and about just over eight inches tall. So it's a relatively small tank. And what I want to do today is talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages to this size tank. If you are new to fish keeping and considering a two and a half gallon fish tank, then this is the video for you. So first, let's take a look at some of the advantages, or at least some of the perceived advantages. One, we're dealing with a really small tank. So things like water changes are gonna be really easy. You could take a cup, dip it in, and you can do a 50% water change in less than a couple minutes. If you don't have the tank completely full, you can also move that tank around relatively easily compared to other sized tanks. I think another big advantage of a tank that's so small is you can put it almost anywhere, a desk, a dresser, as long as that desk or dresser or piece of furniture is capable of holding around 25 to 30 pounds, you're in pretty good shape when it comes to a tank this size. A tank like this, a two and a half gallon, is gonna be pretty easy to break down and set up just about anywhere. Now when it comes to the cost, this two and a half gallon fish tank costs about $13. And that seems like a relatively low price and relative to some other size tanks it might be, but it may not be as low cost as you think when we start looking at other options. All right, so those are some of the advantages. Now let's talk about some of the things that we have to really think about before you buy this size tank. It would seem a tank this small would be the easiest tank to take care of being so small and so easy to maneuver. But that's not necessarily the case. Of course, one of the main disadvantages is going to be stocking ideas. And again, I would highly recommend if you're interested in a two and a half gallon fish tank, check out our stocking video to see what types of fish can go in there. You're very, very limited in regard to the fish or the organisms that can go in that tank. The second thing that may not be completely obvious until you actually look at the tank, this is some extremely, extremely thin glass. So much so, any type, if you drop this thing, if you bump it the wrong way, it could very easily crack on you. When it comes to the cost, this may be surprising. While it's a relatively low cost, there are much better options out there for your dollar. It may come as a surprise, but even a 10 gallon may be less expensive. That two and a half gallon, as I already mentioned, that was $13 new. It may be a little bit less or more, depending on where you live. But a 10 gallon tank at the dollar per gallon sale only costs $10, so you get four times the volume and it costs less. Not only that, but when you start looking at the cost of lids, lights, filter, heater, the two and a half gallon really doesn't provide many advantages at all over let's say a 10 gallon kit. In fact, we've done videos on aquarium kits. I will put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. Highly recommend you check that out. A 10 gallon kit is probably going to cost you less overall than two and a half gallon getting all the parts individually. Again, not only that, but you're getting four times the volume and you've got a lot more stocking options. In fact, for stocking options for a 10 gallon, I'll put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. You have a lot more options. Check out those cool fish. Another reason why it might be a little bit more expensive for a two and a half gallon is the accessories might be more. It may be harder to find filters and lights and heaters appropriate for that size tank, where a 10 gallon tank is a very standard size, very easy to find equipment. Also, while water changes might be easier on a two and a half gallon, it may actually be harder to maintain a two and a half gallon compared to a larger tank like a 10 gallon. Algae scrapers, equipment for cleaning the tank might be a little bit less common and therefore a little bit more expensive. And getting around all of your hardscaping and decorations when you're scraping algae or trying to maintain the tank might actually be a little bit more difficult with a two and a half gallon fish tank. In my mind, one of the most important considerations that you have to make are keeping consistent water parameters. A general rule of thumb is it's harder to keep consistent water parameters in a smaller volume compared to a larger volume. And I like you to think about it this way. Let's say you have one betta, and you put that betta either on a two and a half gallon or a 10 gallon. Now that betta is producing the same amount of bioload. It's producing the same amount of waste in each tank. 
The difference is you only have two and a half gallons in the smaller tank to dilute that waste compared to 10 gallons of water. If you're only doing water changes once a week, that is going to have water parameters fluctuating far more than a two and a half gallon. So as the fish produces ammonia and converts, and the bacteria convert that ammonia to nitrite and then nitrite to nitrate, those nitrates can build up in the water a lot faster than in a larger volume. That can have an impact on pH. And so it may be a little bit harder to manage those water parameters in a smaller tank, especially for an inexperienced keeper, fish keeper, compared to a larger tank like a 10 gallon. So does a two and a half gallon fish tank have a place in the hobby? Absolutely without a doubt. And this may come as a shock to some of you, especially if you feel that two and a half gallon is not an appropriate size tank, but it absolutely has a place in the hobby for a couple reasons. One, for people who are breeding fish, it is an excellent grow out tank. And so if you've got really tiny fry, sometimes it's far easier to grow out those fry in a two and a half gallon compared to a larger tank, especially when you're target feeding those fry with live baby brine shrimp or crushed flake. It is a very appropriate size tank as it grow out and then once the fish grow a little bit larger, you can move them to a larger size tank. The second reason why a two and a half gallon tank has a place in the hobby is as a quarantine tank or a hospital tank. This is especially true for smaller fish. Obviously, we're not gonna put a six inch fish in a two and a half gallon tank, but for smaller fish that are sick or you're quarantining them before they go into a larger tank, it's a very appropriate size. And the reason for that is if you have to add medications, it's a lot cheaper and a lot easier to add medications to two and a half gallons of water compared to a larger volume of water. So those are two really good reasons to use a two and a half gallon, but long term, it may cause a little bit more problems in terms of water parameter control. And again, we're very limited on our stocking options. All right, everyone, I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. If you've had a two and a half gallon fish tank in the past, what were some of the pros and cons that you experienced? Were there some challenges that you had? Did you upgrade the tank over time? If you found this video useful, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.